Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Swiss Army Knife Tip and Trick video. Today I'll show you four tricks with the bottle opener. In this rounding you can store two thin 8mm magnets like this. With this magnet, you can, for example, magnify your screwdriver, like this. In an old video, some weeks ago, I showed you how you can store a 6mm magnet, the can opener. In this whole video, I showed you many cool uses for a magnet. On this video, I received a lot of, of comments. Felix, do you know the magnet fishing trick? And of course I know the magnet fishing trick. And that's the reason why I store two small magnets in the, in the screwdriver or in the bottle opener and not one big one. Between these two magnets, you can clamp a small cord, like this, and now you are ready for fishing iron parts. This is helpful if you lose something under a grid. <laughs> I really hate it when I tighten a screw and the, and the screwdriver claps in. I hate it! <laughs> to avoid this unintentional folding in accident, you can lock your screwdriver. For that, just wrap around the cord, around the eyelet and the screwdriver like this. Now make a little notch. So, now the screwdriver is locked. Of course, this is too much work for just one screw. I recommend this trick when you have a project where you use it a lot. For example, if you assemble IKEA furniture with hundreds of these color connections. <laughs> By the way, on all models, with these evolution scales. The screwdriver is locked when you press it in. Can you see that? Now when I press, the screwdriver is locked. By all new 111 millimeter models, with a line lock, the screwdriver is also locked. To unlock the screwdriver, press on the line lock and now you can fold in. Personally, I prefer these two screwdriver locking systems over that one. <laughs> this is a quarter inch square to a quarter inch hex adapter. Such adapters you find in almost every beat set or in ratchet sets. With this you are able to work with the bits. Hmm? 
if you don't have a ratchet, you can also use the big screwdriver from the Swiss Army knife because in the diagonal position the screwdriver fits perfectly in. And now you are able to work with the bits like this or like this. And this gives you a lot of options for manual works. This wonderful trick I learned on the YouTube channel from Nikos Dulas from Greece. The link to his Swiss Army Life YouTube channel you find in the description box below. In the user's guide from the Swiss Champ Knife you can see that you can use the bottle opener as a crowbar or lever tool. Please be careful with this technique. When you use your knife like this, without brain and with a lot of strength, you get blade play for sure. Let me show you how I use the bottle opener as lever tool. I can't really prove it, but my gut feeling says that better use the knife like this as lever tool than like this. On my opinion, you have more stability in the whole system if you work like this than like this. Better insert the screwdriver like this, then like this, because if you press now, you risk that it falls in. If you insert the screwdriver like this, you have no risk. Then, fold the handle at the 90 degree angle, turn the knife body counterclockwise and not clockwise. I'll show you why. If you turn your knife clockwise in this direction, the divider lift. Can you see that? If you turn the knife counterclockwise like this, the divider has more stability because he is supported through all these tools. This example with these two nails is, in my opinion, already the maximum you should lever with your Swiss Army knife. Otherwise, you risk blade play. If the big screwdriver fit in in this position, better go on with this move then flat because in this direction the knife is much more stable than on this direction So, that's it for today. I hope you liked my tricks. Please check my playlist with other tricks and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next Friday.
Tchau!